Hi, I'm Karan from Team Must. In this video, you will learn how to use the java.util.regex API for pattern matching using regular expressions. A regular expression defines a search pattern for strings. So let's begin. Here we have a sample project named as regex pattern and we have a main.java file open. Now let's say we have a data which holds the names of multiple companies separated by white spaces. So now I want this data in uh, different fields like I want to extract Apple, Microsoft, IBM and Intel. So how do I do that? I'll be using the regex API for this. I'll just do create a string array named as companies and I'll write, uh, perform a split function on data data dot split and put the regex here which is a white space. So let's print this array now let's run this and you can see that the data has been extracted so let's say if the data was in this format there were multiple spaces between the name of different companies so will this pattern work for that let's check it out no this pattern did not check uh, did not perform multi uh, for multiple white spaces what do we do for that is we'll just write backslash backslash s plus uh, you should know that backslash s is meant for a single white space and this plus symbol is meant for multiple white spaces they can be one or more and the backslash cannot uh, be included it in itself so we have a backslash backslash for the backslash now let's run this and we have the data extracted successfully so now let's say we want to extract data which has been separated by a single dot space like this so now the regex for this will be dot it is intuitive but let's say this uh, let's check it out if this works or not no this did not work out so in order to split the data by dot you'll have to use backslash backslash dot now let's run this and you can see that data has been successfully extracted now let's say I want to extract all the numbers from a string let's say this data was in this format um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so now I want to extract only the numbers from this data so how do I do that I'll just ignore this for a second and I'll just delete it and write a system dot out dot println statement in this statement I'll write data dot replace all and I'll type the regex here I'll type backslash backslash capital D now this capital D stands for non numbers I'll have to ignore them so uh, for no, non numbers so all the non numbers will be replaced by this null string and it will be printed to the screen so let's run it and you can see that all the numbers have been successfully extracted so now what if you wanted uh, to do it some other way you can also uh, write the 
square brackets and you can include a not symbol not for 0 to 9 and then you can have multiple numbers so we'll include a plus sign now let's run this and you can see this again did work so, so let's say i have to extract all the alphabets from the string so the regex pattern for this will be not including the alphabets they will be replaced by this null string so let's run this and you can see that all the alphabets have been extracted irrespective of any other data in the string so now what if i want to check whether the string has only numbers or only alphabets so let's replace this string data with only numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so i want to check whether this string holds only numbers or not what will i do is i'll type a string regular expression equals to 0 to 9 and it can be uh, occur multiple times so I have defined a regular expression so now I'll match this regular expression with the data I'll write data dot matches the regex so if the data pattern matches the regular expression pattern the result will be true uh, for in this case we are matching for numbers if the data contains only numbers this will turn out to be true so let's include some alphabets in this data a b c d now let's run it now you can see that the result is false because this uh, data does not contain only numbers it also contains alphabets so now let's say i want to check if the data contains only alphabets or not I'll just replace this by A to Z and capital A to capital Z and it can occur multiple times and rest of the things remain the same. Let's run this. Yeah, true. So if I include any numbers, the result comes out to be false. So that's pretty much it, it for this video you can also explore uh, more possibilities with the regular expressions uh, i have included the java api link in the description of this video and thank you for watching thank you so much